All right, we want to warn you, the video in this next story may be a bit difficult to watch. It shows a toddler choking and the quick thinking officer who jumped in just in time to save her life. Here's Matt Howerton. You know, go? this is yeah. Ariana Yusuf and her father Moss. Well, she loves to be in his arms. It's the greatest feeling being a parent. Mm -hmm. I look forward to coming to the house every single day. And you know, times like these okay. have greater meaning in this family now, because last month, a police body camera caught Ariana facing death. And the moment I watched that, I started crying. I couldn't handle it because I could see she was basically, looked like she was dead. The one-year-old stopped breathing after swallowing this marble. Well, I'd head that way as quick as I could. Officer Coy Clements was the first to arrive to help. Went through the hallway and could see straight to the living room. You see through his body cam that every second counts. I grabbed her, <laughs> twisted her over and looked at her face. She was clearly not responsive at that point. I turned her back over, tilted her head down to the ground and just started hitting her in the lower part of the back. And his quick thinking paid off. After a few strikes to Ariana's back, I got you, baby. You hear a cry. Kind of the best moment was when she started screaming. It was obvious at that point that she was at least breathing. But the marble was still in Ariana's throat, though dislodged enough where she could breathe. It was finally removed at the hospital, where the one-year-old got a special visitor. At that moment, immediately, I knew that the two of us were, were going to be forever linked. It's the first time Officer Clements has ever saved a child's life. I feel like, you know, God... God gave us a, a, another opportunity to have Ariana stay with us today. As for Ariana and her family, they experienced a first two, gaining a friend in blue. He's a hero. That's it. That's all I can say. For life, Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News.